Hey guys, Joel, Police 10 8 Talk, back with you. Got ever faithful Bosco with us today. Uh, doing another shotgun for you. Not quite really uh, police or tactically related, but we have a Mossberg 930 Yeti Cryptek, also called their Snow Goose for, for some reason. Provided to us by Big Daddy Guns, whose toll free number is 855. 682-4872. I had to think about it there for a minute. And they're located off of Tower Road, for those of you in the Gainesville area, right off of Tower Road, which is 75th Street, uh, yep. near Newberry Road. Off yeah, Newberry Road. It's, it's just before, if you're familiar with Gainesville, it's on the right side, just before you pull into uh, Napolitano's parking lot. Right up the hill. Go Frogs. You notice a little change in the headgear today. Uh, Bosco had to come out sporting his... Uh, West Virginia hat, so I was like, eh, I'll give my multi-cam hat a break. Go Frogs. Be right back with you. Hey guys, here we are back with you with the uh, not too subtle in color Mossberg 930 Yeti. It's encrypted camo. Uh, it's also called their Snow Goose Gun. Uh, suggested retail on it's $900. It is gas operated. It's 12 gauge. Uh, capacity of it is 13 rounds. It's chambered in 3 inch. As you can see from the video, vent rib. It does have a high vis uh, fiber optic front side on it. The choke is a Mossberg AccuSet. Uh, length of pull on it is fixed. Uh, the, the furniture on it is synthetic. Weight on it's 8.25 pounds. Total length on it is 52.5 inches. Probably be a really good three gun match shotgun, I'm thinking. So give us just a sec. Let us amble over to the range. We're gonna load it up and see how she shoots. Be right back with you. Hey everybody, this is Officer Bosco, Police 10 8 Talk. Uh, today we're going to be uh, <coughs> shooting some rounds from Mossberg 930, the Yeti Cryptic. Yep. Okay, took me a few minutes to figure that one out. Uh, cryptic camo. Uh, actually a pretty nice little shotgun. I like Mossbergs. Uh, it has a tank safety on it, which up, it's ready to fire. You see red, you're dead, white, you're all right, like, like I normally say. Uh, you got to go up to fire. If it's down, it's on safe. <coughs> this one has an enlarged bolt release, which is really nice. It's easy to, uh, easy to hit. And one thing that's really nice that I love about this is it has a larger uh, knurled uh, charging handle, which is always nice because it always makes it a lot easier when you're charging shotguns. Uh, that's awesome. I love these. These little knurled ones are really nice. They're plenty big enough to hit. Uh, this does not have a <coughs> technically an enlarged trigger guard, but you can see I have gloves on, and there's plenty of room in there for me. So uh, even with gloves on, even with their standard Mossberg standard trigger guard, which this is pretty much their standard trigger guard, you still got plenty of room for glove fingers. So uh, just hold on a second. I'm going to put some lead down range, see how this thing shoots. So just give me a second. Range is hot. Hot. That might help. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> okay, ready? Did it again. Okay, we're having some technical difficulties with it. It actually did a double feed out of the out of the um, double feed out of the uh, <laughs> magazine tube. I don't think I've, I haven't seen that in a long time on a shotgun. All Stand right. by a second. Let me see. Actually, we'll go ahead and switch off for a minute because it's going to take me a few minutes to clear this. So uh, just give us a minute. We'll try to clear it and. Uh, this gun, just for anybody's knowledge, has never been fired. It's the first time it's ever been fired. <coughs> so just give us a minute because it's going to take a minute to clear this, okay? Okay, so just stand by. You know what it could be? It could be that extended tube. Hey guys, Joel Bosco back with you, Police 10 8 Talk. Uh, if you watched any of our videos, you know we not normally shoot till conclusion uh, due to technical issue with this shotgun we kind of cut it short 
Uh, nice shooting shotgun if it works properly. You know, very reasonably priced if you're going into three gun or if you're a snow goose hunter. If you can get those feed issues straightened out. This gun's brand new, out of the box. Uh, had never been fired before. Uh, Bosco and I are of the opinion that it's something to do with that extended choke too. Maybe the spring isn't. I'm thinking maybe they just they didn't put a power a uh, strong enough spring in it. Because I know because anytime you put those extended tubes on there, <coughs> sometimes that becomes an issue if you don't put a strong enough strong enough spring in there. But you would think coming directly from the factory that it would be that ready, it would have been it fixed. Been ready to roll. Yeah, but other than that, because every once in a while it would not feed. And then when you got it to feed around, that's when it would double feed yeah. on you. And it, and, it, and it did it constantly. It didn't several times. And even uh, on a gun, you're just breaking in. That shouldn't be doing that at all. No, I've never had an gun <laughs> experience this level of yeah. sort of difficulty. Yeah, the malfunctions are just not, that's not something you should tolerate from a shotgun from a good manufacturer like Mossberg. Nice shooter when it's shot, though. So yeah. uh, take it for what it's worth. We experienced a lot of issue when it didn't double feed it close on an empty chamber yeah and then when you'd manually cycle it back and it pick one up that's when it would do the double feed double feed and most of you guys know double feeds on shotguns are a, generally a pretty good pain in the behind to take care of so uh yeah that's what it is it didn't it didn't work right for us uh we both have a fair amount of experience with shotguns so Highly doubt it was user induced, but uh, guys, uh, be sure you check out Big Daddy Guns, Bosco. Uh, just remember to be safe and watch your six.